Okay, so there I'm recording. It says the session is now being recorded, which is really nice. You can so also see that it's recorded. You can see my name over here and over here as using the microphone, which is great because when you get other participants, you'll see their names when they speak. Very, very useful. Uh, there's also a heart here to send fit feedback and the options at the top are make a full screen settings about keyboard shortcuts, which are really useful and meeting, of course, and log out if you just want to go out and come back. But end meeting really ends it. So uh, let's see what we can do at the bottom here. It's just like BBB. I don't see much of a difference here and also add my video. Um, it's looking for webcams and I have a USB that I like to use. You know, I have another one. So hi there. And uh, let's start. Oh, it lets you preview it before. This is a very useful idea. So you can fix your hair and everything and then here on the air that you don't really see yourself. Oh, you will in a minute. It's coming up. I use BBB in one of my schools. I've got two schools. One I use Zoom and in the other school I use BBB, which comes with the school, so I don't have to pay for anything, which is a good thing, but it's not mine and I'm not free to use it outside the school. So what do we have here? Uh, we've got the leave audio and we've got the mute leave audio. Hmm. All right, so uh, let me get rid of this. So clear all annotations and this is undo annotations and this says tools. So let's click on tools. I've got T for text and line. I also have ellipse and I have tri a triangle, rectangle and I have a pencil. So let's start with the text. I don't like to use pencils. Let me write something. Hi, don't see anything. Maybe I should change the color. All right, that should work. Um, what color should I use? Let me use black. Okay, so there we go. Hi, I don't, still don't see anything. Um, so I don't know why it's not working, but let's try again. I'm clicking on T for T. Yeah, um, I found this a bit funny too when I tried it the other day. Let's see if we can get a font here to show up. It's still red, even though I think I tried to turn it into black. So, uh, all right. Okay, so uh, let me get rid of this and put in something else if I can. So I go to the plus, if I remember right, I can start a poll here. You can see that. Upload a presentation, share an external video, which I guess YouTube stream session. That's interesting. Stream session. So YouTube. Wow, I like this. Wow, this is amazing. I love it. I love it already. Um, you can buy me on streaming. I think that's one of the reasons I'm with Zoom, even though I love WizIQ a lot better, but Zoom has the streaming and don't ask me why, but I like the idea of streaming. I guess um, an old timer here. Let's see what it said. YouTube has returned an error. Now, why is that? Hmm. Okay. Live dashboard. All right. So maybe I should go to RTM. I don't know what my thing is for start streaming. Should have it somewhere but I don't have it right now. So it's not that intuitive and it's not easy like on Zoom. So, okay, you just lost me. Okay, that's unfortunate. Let me try again. I'm not gonna give up that quickly. So maybe I need to set um, YouTube up, but no, I'll just click on my, let's see. Am I logged in with Facebook? Is that why? Let's see, maybe I should do it slower. It's got to work. Yeah, oh, an error. It returned an error. It says no content. So I'm not going to give up. Let me try this out. Go to the live control room. Oh, it's offline. Okay, so this is my room. I wonder if this will help anything um i guess i need to do something it's offline right now and i want it to be online i don't know why i would want to do this if it's so complicated but let me try it anyway okay so at least you know that you have it with zoom I don't do anything. 
click away. So let's give it a name. I'll call it um, Elos. Okay, because that's what I'm using. That's an interesting name, eh? And then um, create a stream. But if I have to do this through YouTube, why would I want to do it through Elos? I could do it straight through YouTube. And I don't need Elos for that. Right? So, um, all right. I guess I would need my codes and things. I would need to copy this. So, um, all right. I don't know. I probably need to copy both. All right. Too complicated. I like things simple. So let me get rid of that. Let me stop it. No, I'm not. Well, let me try. Very hard to get me to give up, as you can see. So let me see if I can stream it with this. Oh, I, just, I didn't get it. All right. Okay. Not right now. All right. Let's uh, let's continue. So we're going to um, not start a poll, but upload a presentation. So uh, let's get the presentation. What should I present? Don't have that many presentations because I don't really present. And if I do, it's usually on. I wonder if I have a PPT. I I do it on Google Drive. That's where I get it. Oh, here, there's something here. I think it's just an image. All right. Oh, oh here, I have a presentation. Isn't it amazing that I stopped using presentations? Okay, so let's uh, see what happens here. We'll just upload it. Is that what we do? Okay, so now you see it's going really, really fast. 27%. That's fast. Okay, I guess there's a way of doing this beforehand. The current one is a PDF. Okay, 1991. Okay, that's going really fast. Now it's converting. I guess it's converting a PowerPoint PPTX to uh, a PDF. Yeah, a lot of. Um, live platforms such as this one do it. I know Adobe does it. Now WizIQ does it too. So here it is. There's a PowerPoint. Looks kind of nice. I would like to make this a little larger. Let's see if we can um, make it full screen. No, we shouldn't. No, we shouldn't because I think that that would not work for, um, but actually when you do that, I just noticed that um, Oh, it's still there. I was hoping the left would not be there. All right, so here it is. Let's see if uh, we can do something with, oh, we can make the photo. Wow. Okay, that's, but it's not synced. Okay, it's complicated. It's complicated. Okay, um, so what else can I do here besides move the slides? Have there. I don't like the fact, oh, I can make the slides larger. Okay, that's what I like. Okay, that's good. This I like. Okay, now what about screen sharing? Let's see. That should work too. Let me see where that is. Um, okay, I thought it would be start. I don't see it actually. It's not here. What, there's no screen sharing? That's usually at the bottom on BBB, but I don't see it here. All I see is stop sharing webcam. again. All right, so I shouldn't touch that. And then there's mute. Hmm, okay. But there's no screen sharing. I can't believe that. Full screen settings. Maybe I need to set it up. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is just like BBB. Animations on. On. Audio alerts for chat. I don't know what that is. Okay, let's put that on. Pop up for chats. Nice. Audio alerts to join. They pop up alerts for user to join. Okay, applicant. So font size, I'll make it bigger. Okay, 100% safe. Still no screen sharing. I guess they disabled it for the free program, maybe. Which is unfortunate. Okay, you can only add a video. I don't know where you at. Start a poll. 
share an external video. All right, so let me, I need the link. I can't search for it. All right, so let's get a link. Okay. Okay, I just checked and this video was made five years ago, which is interesting. Five years ago. That's what I was experimenting with. At least that's when I created it. Okay, so um, hopefully it'll work. Play the video to enable. Didn't I play it? Okay, let's do it again. Not working too well. Like, and it doesn't, and so it's not really, oops, it's not really playing it. Why is that? and it's really expensive so I'm uh, not sure about this okay let's see if I nothing's happening is that problem Okay, I'm giving up. It's not working. Let me go back to, um, I noticed my streaming class is up on YouTube. So maybe it would work now. Let's see. If I, I, don't know, I don't know how I did that, but somehow I managed to do it. So let's see if I allow it, what happens. So, so far, I'm not a hat camper, but who knows? It's It might just work. Look, it's loading. Um, there's a potential. Streaming. Oh, it is streaming. I have no idea what I did. I'm sorry. I have no idea what I just did, which is uh, very typical. Sometimes I do things and I've, I don't know how to help somebody else because I don't know how I did it myself. 
so in any case, look what happens here. I'm streaming this. My video has here for some reason. I guess it doesn't like the fact that I'm using it. Okay, so hi everybody. If you're there watching, I'm trying out Elos. Elos. Um, it used to be, or I think it used to be, mconf, which is based on BBB. mconf was free for ten years. I played around with it five years ago. I could have used it for five years for free. I gave up on it for various reasons. So right now it's streaming. You can see that it's streaming. I want to go back. I want to stay with the streaming, but I want to go back to the presentation that we had before, which I really liked. So let me open it up again. It says current. So um, if it's current, why am I not seeing it? Okay, so let's confirm and see what happens here. I'd like to get rid of this video because it's really not working. Um, and I don't know how to get rid of it. So um, if you're out there, I'm trying out Elos. Oh, I see. You can get it here. Okay, so streaming. That's another person. Shared notes. Public chat. All I want to do is uh, not get a user. Okay, let me start all over. Maybe if I get another, I'll browse for um, a PPT. PPT, okay, and then I'll, it'll get rid of um, what's there. Okay, so I think it's this one. Okay, so yeah, there it is. Okay, it's coming up. Uh, let's upload it. Okay, so what I'm hoping is that once I bring this up, it'll get rid of the video because I have no idea. And I know how to use BBB. Don't get me wrong. I've used BBB. I use it on a regular basis in one of my schools, K-12 schools. It's a really nice tool. It's part of the school LMS. They're using Moodle. Okay, so now it's processing uh, and I should have it ready. I think. All right, so let's see what's happening. Oh, there it is. But no, it's in the background. I still have this terrible video that I don't know how to get rid of and I really don't like it. So let me see if I can get rid of this video. Okay, so you know now you know what it's like to um, stop sharing external. Yay! All right, so here we are. All right, so um, now I have something on my. Oh, I hate that. WizIQ also has this thing where you have um, something on your pointer. Okay, let me get a hand. Would that help? Nope, but I could get a line. Lines, no, I don't want anything actually. Uh, and and this is what it does. You know, you have something on your mouth and you go around with it. And I like to use my mouse a lot. So, um, okay. We may find the humility, love, and wisdom to learn from each other. Why isn't my video here? I didn't disable it. Oh, okay. My video is gone. Why is it gone? And how do I get it back? That's another interesting thing. Oh, I can have just this. That's nice. I like that. All right. Don't need my face. So I gave this talk a while back to teachers. There were a lot of teachers, less than 100, over 70. Maybe we find humility, love, and wisdom to learn from each other because that's what we do anyways, whether we like it or not. We might not be aware of it, but we are learning from one another. That's who we are. Currently, we're all actually in the same situation, which is very unusual because we're all having the same issues, the same challenges. We're all stuck at home, maybe not stuck for some, but I think for most, at least the feeling is that we have no choice. We have to stay home in order to be safe. And it's really a chance for all of us to get to know our families a little better, connect with them a little more if we have a family. But what if we're all alone by ourselves under one roof? Well, that's where these live online 
classes come in. And that's where we can connect and come together under one roof in a live online virtual meeting, such as this one. There is a need to perfect these virtual rooms because right now, and I've used all of them for a number of years, they're getting better and better, but they're not perfect. Under our roof, we are safe. We are protected and alone. In many cases, alone with, but also alone from, alone away from our friends, from work, from teaching, but not from learning. Actually, not from teaching. We could do both. And that's what I try to do in my free professional development courses for teachers. But they're not only for teachers, actually everyone's a teacher. So we are told to stay at a distance from one another. But love does not prevent us from engaging, which is why I developed live online virtual engagement, a free eight week or work at your own pace for as long as you wish. You don't have to leave. But the course is based on teamwork. So the teamwork will end in eight weeks. Unless the team decides to go on. That's also a possibility. And I hope. Because the idea, of course, is to bring love together so that we can work and get the practice we need and experience what it means to teach and learn in a live online virtual classroom and engage so that now or next time and there will be a next time we will be in a better position to connect with our students and facilitate learning both online, when we are online, and face-to-face, -face, or a combination of both. So that's my hope, and that's what I do. The name is L-O-V-E, and some of the tools are WizIQ, GoBrunch, S-Talks, Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Team, BBB, and some others. The first one is the Zoom meeting. Actually, all the sessions will have Zoom meetings as well as the other meetings. But the focus, of course, is through Zoom. So Zoom is actually our main platform, including Moodle. So what happens in general between people? They want to be heard. They want to be seen. They don't want to be judged. They want to feel ownership of whatever they learn. They want to feel the engagement, experience it, have a choice, lots of choices, not to be criticized, to be active and heard. They want to be heard, which is something that we should consider when we offer Zoom or other live virtual meetings. Nobody is able to only listen. Listening is great, but that's not what it's about. It's about voicing whatever we have to say and showing our faces if we're willing. So what does a live virtual class have? Well, it has a whiteboard, just like this one. It has breakout rooms, which what this one doesn't have. But I know that BBB does have breakout rooms. It has polls. It has a media for YouTube, which didn't quite work here. And screen sharing, which doesn't exist here. Chat box, definitely there is a chat box. And there is a whiteboard. I'm not sure you can invite others. Uh, in this virtual classroom, but in the BBB 
but there is that option. So what else can I say? As a teacher, I like to work in teams myself, and I also like to divide the students or have them divide themselves into teams so they can peer learn and peer teach. I work with uh, teachers as well as with young learners. The idea is for everyone to feel that they have something to, because they do have something to share, but allow them to present, allow the members to present. And that's just a little bit of information about the course that started on April 1st, and that's how you log in. That's not relevant at this time. And these are the badges, because there are digital badges on the Moodle and uh, makes it really easy. There are, there's also a certificate of completion for those who do the eight week time-based course. And um, on one of the sessions, we played Kahoot. I love playing Kahoot. I've played it on BBB, which is a platform such as this, played it on Zoom. I will try to play it on WizIQ and other platforms where I'm sure it's gonna work because Kahoot is a great way to have fun and use the screen sharing apparatus in your live online class. So it's not only about face-to-face, -face, but it's also about using your computer and your phone. So I think having a phone really, really helps. So I think that's it. I can start, I like the way the streaming, you know, I'm in love with, uh, with the icon here of the live streaming. I really like it because it's blue and not red. So kudos for that. I've given this session as recorded 26.43 plus it's running minutes. I will stop the stream streaming options stop okay so i can do that i've been screen sharing with screencast and attic so let me start that and i am also going to stop let's see what else can i stop here the recording i'm going to end the meeting but before what do i do first log out or end the meeting make sure you end the meeting before you log out so it doesn't remain like on zoom it remains forever so i will i can pause the recording but let me see if I can end it. Are you sure you want to pause the recording? No, I want to end it. I think it ends when the class ends, as far as I remember. But let me uh, just check. Um, webcam, I'm going to bring back the webcam so I can say goodbye, a proper goodbye. Let me just check again how I get out of here. I can also start a poll, but there's no point this, since there's nobody here. It takes a long time for the video to turn up. That's unfortunate, it shouldn't take that long. And I'm sure it's not my connection. So, uh, error, error, there is an error. I wonder why. Okay, so the video is not coming up because there is an error. Okay, it doesn't want to start. Let's see if it starts now. I'm not going to give up until I see that video. Hmm, interesting. Okay, it's trying to come up. There, I think it's come up. All right, so let's open it up. There we go. <laughs> I think I had my eyes closed there. Okay, so uh, let's leave it and hopefully, no, we'll just end the meeting. I'm sure that'll work. End the meeting. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching.